the report from Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk about how there is no longer any progressive politics happening in the world. Stick around and listen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, yes, progressive politics. Obviously, um, left-wing progressive politics was a big thing in the 60s and kicked off. And obviously, I think it reached its kind of nadir uh, around 2010 where, um, you know, things like racial equality and, and lesbian and gay rights and even trans rights, it achieved uh, as much as I think it, it could. You know, and people were very tolerant of it to a certain extent. And then after 2010, it began to move into a kind of propaganda mode where it became itself kind of totalitarian and involved bullying people and all this kind of Kind of stuff so in my opinion progressive politics now um, is, is dead it's been entirely taken over by uh, the globalists by the international elite and is now being used as a kind of bullying weapon um, that's going to be part of the new world order and you know this is all in 1984 they talk about this like the sex police that's obviously all the stuff in relation to gender obviously the ministry of truth that's all like fact checkers and all this bullshit so um you know i think progressive politics itself has petered out um and it's now being replaced with a kind of soft um soft totalitarianism at least to begin with it's soft soft left-wing totalitarianism and um you know that is what is uh happening today in left-wing politics it's no longer um progressive at all. I think progressive politics died around the time of Occupy Wall Street. When Occupy Wall Street failed, the left after that went crazy on identity politics and that to me signaled that um, you know something was very wrong and um, that progressive politics uh, had, had died and if there isn't any actually uh, progressive politics, it's now happening on the new right. Obviously on the new right, we're interested in libertarianism, we're interested in liberty, we're interested in freedom and maintaining human dignity. We're interested in things like, um, you know, free, uh, elections that aren't tampered with. Uh, in other words, not what's going on in America at the moment with the election. And we're interested in, um, you know, free speech, and we're interested in just, you know, some of the old conservative values. And there are many ways that conservatives can tackle things like the environment and can tackle things like cultural, uh, you know, hegemony and maintaining our, our culture's um, holisticism and stuff, you know, that the new right and conservatism can still play a large part. But, and in a sense, that is the most progressive thing going on at the moment in contemporary politics. And I think that's why the paradigm has shifted. Um, and, and that, in a way, is, is why, um, you know, we on the new right uh, are, in a sense, a bit like the old left is we are the we are the ones who are interested in, in progressive ideas today and um the new left um is more like the old right which was uh repressive with a lean towards um totalitarianism so i think that's where we are and i just wanted to make a little, little video on that and um a, a, and speak to you about it today so thank you for listening the report from tiger mountain cheers